it's early morning. We join Stephen Ekwam for a boat ride. The fisherman is headed deep into Lake Tukana. As a member of the beach management unit, he is going to check what the nets have been able to gather. For generations, fish from the lake has provided sustenance for the Trukana people and is a source of income. Today is not a lucky day for Ekwam and other fishermen. Most of their nets have come out empty. While they have caught some fish, hardly any of it is the prized Nile patch. Our lake has been rising and expanding into nearby bushes. As a result, we don't have a proper place to cast our nets. But Ekwam says this is a lesser challenge they are facing. He says the dwindling number of fish is due to the illegal fishing of undersized fish. Fewer, smaller fish also means there is less food for the larger Nile patch. Depleted fish stocks are forcing fishermen to venture into deep waters to net what they can. It's prompted civil society organizations to raise an alarm. When people have a choice of either surviving or dying, they will always choose to survive. And that will involve using undersized nets. And that is how even the smallest of the fishes are gotten out of the lake. And you realize you are attacking the very uh, cracks and the very foundation of fish in the lake if you take out even the, the fingerlings. The local government agrees. It says fishing of undersized fish threatens the survival of the Nile patch, which fetches a higher price than other species. If you remove the entire of it, that means we will lose the Nile patch in our, in our lake. In response to this crisis, the Trukana County government has stepped up efforts to stop the illegal netting of undersized fish. But implementing such a ban has not been an easy task. Prohibited nets are still visible and in full use. It's like uh, dealing with insecurity. When you are dealing with insecurity, you can't finish it within uh, the shortest period. It's long term. Of course, you, we will have people who will resist uh, the kind of changes or the directive we've given as a, a leadership. Now, if you understand that these nets are a problem, why are fishermen still using them? The availability of the market and quick money has blinded us. At times we are given money before we go fishing. The money has made us not to think about our future. As efforts to stop illegal fishing continue, fishermen like Ekwam hope they can one day bring in a more bountiful catch from Lake Trukana. Enoxicole, CGTN, Lodwa, Kenya.